What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Two Beards, One Podcast. Yes, sir. All right, brother. Cute. Here it is. All right, guys. So today we're talking about uh, a little bit of like not quite mental health, but some ways to reduce some stress. Uh, we'll probably tackle a couple of uh, things that cause stress as well in our personal lives. But yeah, that's what we're going through today. So uh, yes, hopefully that's interesting to you guys because it's interesting to us. I think what we're going to so, get into is going to be interesting for yeah. anybody. Yeah. So, uh, and of course, stick around till the end if you want to see our weird items and something to kind of loosen up the night. Yeah. So, all right. I think you wanna, first. You want to talk about how we got, how we decided to do this one? Oh yeah, we can do that. We're gonna do a different topic today, and uh, which we will do later. Yeah, just yeah. not today. We'll tackle it at some point. Mm-hmm. But randomly at work, me and John got into a discussion about something I brought up, mm-hmm. and we were like, "Well, let's save the rest of this, and let's just do the podcast yeah. tonight about that." I think we solidly talked for probably thirty or forty-five minutes. Oh, we had a good conversation about yeah. it. But I think we can yeah. go, we'll rehash that, yeah, and then we'll we probably go deeper. deeper. We can definitely go deeper. Yeah. So, that's where this yeah. came about. Um, but I think it also goes well with this week, as I am about to get married. Yeah. Um, by the time this comes out, I will probably be married, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. next Friday. Yeah, this will be episode four? Three or four, depending, yeah. on, oh, uh, yeah. depending on which what, what we release. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, sure. by that time I will be married, a married uh, man. which is great. But it all happened really, really fast. Uh, well, and maybe we'll. Yeah. Well, getting married didn't happen fast. Which there was a, the, COVID yeah, caused COVID some problems with the wedding. Messed everything up. Like so it has yeah. Everything so far. So which has been a pain. So we uh, yeah yeah I mean, push some just, things up. Yeah, you guys had to reschedule, and this was the best time for yeah. uh, everything to go down. So. It's been a stressful couple of weeks, at least for me. Is, uh, yeah, I think yeah, it, for sure for you. For everybody, a little bit probably, but well, I mean, you're in of, the wedding, on top so of yeah. Everything? Oh, I mean, I yeah. Literally. You gotta the, run like, and get yeah. your suit measured real, real quick, well, and a, like that's all I gotta worry about. Yeah, since we're not doing like a big yeah. actual wedding, so mm-hmm. I don't have to worry about the speech. It's true. There's less. I mean, if you want to do a speech, I'm not gonna stop you. I mean, I might do something like off the top of the dome. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. A little improv. Uh, ooh, I like it. I like it. Like it. But, yeah, so uh, a little bit of a stressful week, but it brought up our topic of uh, things that stress us and ways that we found to maybe relieve some yeah. of the stress. A very uh, maybe controversial uh-huh. in a way that I am yeah. very interested in uh, trying. Yeah. Has yet to do it, I think. No, as I far have, as I, I know. I have not done it. Yeah. But I have done a little bit of research on it. Not uh-huh. a lot. One or two websites. Yeah. But, I mean, I, 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 I'm I, really, it, okay, yeah. so you just want to get into it? Yeah. I want to do ayahuasca. I want to I want to try ayahuasca. You should explain that for people like me who don't know what ayahuasca is. Ayahuasca is a mix of different plants, but it is like a super um, psychedelic mm-hmm. drug. It's a tea that's brewed. Yeah. And it's like a... a a southern Native American thing. Yeah. Yeah. And you have like shamans in like actual places, shamans will lead you through mm-hmm. the experience of uh, yeah. a psychedelic high so. on uh, ayahuasca. Yeah. Um, which I find very interesting because I don't think, me myself, I don't think I would try that. Um, I like the way you explained it was that it helped almost reset the brain a little bit. Yeah. Reset. Yeah. Um. Actually, I I have some stuff on my la- my laptop. Mm-hmm. Put my laptop in my book bag. Let me grab it for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you you got some some information to uh, look up a little bit. Oh. Uh, anyway, we'll go through my uh, reservations a yeah. little bit while you're pulling up your info on it. Well, the, I, the the big thing that like okay, so I told you. Why I want, what I wanted to do, yeah. and why I wanted to do it, mm-hmm. and the, I think what sparked like the the big conversation was when I asked, yeah, what did I, 
What, you well, asked ask you asked me if you would try it. Yeah, if I would try it. Like um and I said probably not. Um and I asked because it's illegal or for mm-hmm. others not for not yeah. as in like a rabbit yeah. hole. And I think part of it is because it's illegal, but I don't think that's the main like stop. Like I, I've I've smoked pot in the past. I don't anymore. Um partly I've smoked pot. I yeah. I, I, I did it in the past. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, um, but I'm not about that anymore, um, and not that I have any problems with it. Uh, I just it wasn't something I enjoyed, um, and at the time it was illegal. So always sneaking around and being that that kind of like I gotta be paranoid wasn't my thing. Um, so now that it's legal, um, I think it's a better like. I think it's a good medicinal drug, and I think if people use it in that fashion, fantastic. I'm okay with them using it rec- recreationally um, if they want to, mm-hmm. since it's legal. So it's awesome. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. But. Yeah. No, so, continue. Oh, okay. Um, but, yeah. Um, so I, I have no problems with that. Um, and, like, even as a Christian, I, I know other people who are Christians who use uh, marijuana as, like, a de-stressor or like an anxiety um medicine and like i'm i'm okay with that like that's i don't think that that's an issue um i think there should be some restrictions with that obviously like maybe don't smoke a bunch and then drive or something or operate machinery but that's that's something later to hash out um yeah well i know you know i've told you i talked about it and we talked about it today Mm -hmm. while we were doing i do Mm-hmm. I, I smoke. Yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, I would say regularly, but not like mm-hmm. I don't like go. I don't like lose my mind. Yeah. Yeah. I'm responsible. Yeah. I don't. I don't do it to. I don't smoke and then go out mm-hmm. and then like go hang out with people yeah. or do anything like that. Like occasionally you know, I will smoke with someone and just chill. But I. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, when I do it, I'm at home. Yeah. And it's at night before I go to bed mm-hmm. when I'm just chilling and want to de stress. The way my brain works is like it's constantly going, it's constantly mm-hmm. thinking about things, and absolutely ninety percent of those things are in a negative manner. Yeah. So for me to turn that off, mm-hmm. smoke weed yeah. and, and relax, it doesn't. Yeah. It's not like I'm out of my mind. Yeah. Well, no, and that's like that's good for you. Brain. Like, and yeah. I think that's yeah. good. I'm in no way saying like every kid out there should go out there and smoke no, weed. No, no, that's no, absolutely. Not. I'm saying like if you use it responsibly. And in a way that's beneficial, by all means, that's that it. I think that it is a natural form of like maybe something that was put on the planet to help us get through stressful issues. Not saying that God made it for that purpose or something, but it is a plant. I believe that God created the earth and it's a plant on the earth. So uh, it's natural. Like, I don't think we man made it. I'm not sure. I've not done enough research to make sure of that, but I'm almost positive it's all natural. Put a seed in the ground. Yeah. That stuff grows. So I'm not saying that God said we should smoke, but I mean, I'm also not saying that uh, God didn't create it. So I think it could be there as a natural de-stressor. So just a disclaimer, as a Christian, I have smoked pot. I'm not saying everyone should go smoke pot. That's uh, to each his own decision and be responsible. Uh, Just so everybody knows, I don't, Neither one of us are trying to convince anyone yeah. to smoke, and neither one of neither one of us are are telling someone to not do something. That yeah. Do. Pot, like I read something the other day, you have to smoke like fifteen pounds of mm-hmm. of marijuana to in like in five minutes to overdose on marijuana. Oh, really? It's literally impossible. Huh. I didn't so, know it. What? Yeah. yeah. Everything I've heard is it is impossible, but yeah. regardless, yeah. It is. Well, That's I mean, yeah. You can't. You would not. Yeah. Unless, unless you have all 15 pounds ready to go and you have like this huge like van. Yeah. And you just talk everything like a whole <laughs> bushel on fire. A oh, whole man. bushel. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you, say, you say it real nice like a country guy. Whole bushel. Whole bushel. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, all that to say that like I'm not against it, but I'm not necessarily for it in any manner. Yeah. Like, it, because it's not for you. Yeah. Because it's just it's not, not for you. me. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I just. Like that's yeah. that's my thing, and it, I don't think it's a Christian thing. I think the Christian aspect of it was when it was illegal, um, but now, as, 
I don't know how many states have it legal at this point, but a lot have it legal. It should be all. Yeah. If there's a drug um, but, out there that, that should be legal, mm-hmm. it's marijuana. And if there's a drug out there that should be illegal, it's alcohol. Mm-hmm. So Alcohol will mess you up as a man. Yeah. But we are not. Yeah, we, we also are doing that responsibly as well. Yeah. Um, and that is definitely active, like, you know? yeah, definitely a part of like what we want the show to be as a let's sit down, have a drink and a nice conversation. Well, it's also who we are. Yeah. Um, so... We'll get into that one day. We'll we'll tackle that subject for sure. And I like at some point. In between recording our episode, mm-hmm. I don't have. Oh yeah. I don't drink. Mm-mm. I, I would like if we were all to go out. Like we're gonna go out for yeah the wedding. Before the wedding. Yeah. I would if I don't have my daughter, I might give her some margaritas or something. Yeah. To go next. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't. It's not like I'm drinking every day. And yeah. I'm drinking a certain amount every day. Or and it's yeah, drink. and it's I not with the intention of like I'm gonna wrong. get smashed. Right. Right. Kind of thing. I couldn't. Oh yeah, I struggle with that. I, I, I just don't like it. Yeah, it's like not it. enjoyable. Um, but all that to come back to our de-stressing. Um, so you use it in a de-stressing kind of way. Yeah, I, I, it's like a. It is one thing. I know I haven't done like over-the-counter medication, and honestly, like this is my preferred method. But mm-hmm. it is it's the one thing that I have found that lets my pain calm down, relax. Yeah. And you are like a very like pro natural from yeah. what I gather like like everything yeah medicine, anything you want is, like yeah. food you eat yeah. uh, protein powder you even like and have done like plant based protein powder um, so I think that's just yeah. a natural like Blake kind of thing I so like, 100% yeah um, but yeah so what like oh let's go ahead and tackle if you've got your information up. Yeah, for sure. Let's go ahead and tackle that. No, I, what, uh-huh. this? Uh, uh, what it is, like what it is and what it does. Okay. The, I don't know how you say it. What'd you say? Ayahuasca. 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 Yeah. Let's see what I have. Because I only took a couple screenshots of stuff that I wanted to use. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the the funny herbal tea that Blake wants to try. It is illegal, so that is one of the. The reasons oh, okay. I'm kind of against it. But. Yeah, so, I, like, what I told you was, um, I basically, I just explained, like, what it was. It was mm-hmm. a tea, and it was, like, a super psychedelic tea. Yeah. You, like, you go on a, a pretty major trip. On yeah. It. It's, it, it lasts upwards of six hours. Mm-hmm. The effects start to kick in a half hour in, like, two hours in, it's, like, your peak. Okay. Um. So the reason I want to do it is because yeah. I have read and seen stuff that it is a kind of like a reset to the mm-hmm. mind. Yeah. Where um, it was, it used to be treated in like I don't know how big the study was, but it, they treated World War One or World War Two mm-hmm. um, soldiers who came back who had PTSD. They they gave it to them and it significantly increased and, yeah. their their symptoms. And there's been cases and they're doing um, they're doing a study somewhere I have it in uh, in Seattle okay they're doing an, an ayahuasca study to mm-hmm. treat depression okay because in the, the mm-hmm. small portion or the small sample size that they had they've seen significant yeah. decreases in, in one mm-hmm. in one treatment or one yeah. partaking in the ayahuasca they've seen significant de- decreases yeah, in in depression symptoms and stuff, and uh, yeah, like yeah. I, but like the, the psychedelic part of it really intrigues me. Like mm-hmm. I've heard the same thing about mushrooms. Yeah, which is why I want to try mushrooms at least once. Yeah, because it, it's like the, the the trips that you go on and the and the things that I have I've read about people who have positive. Mm-hmm. results from it it's like no matter if you have a good or or a bad trip you can relate that to when you're you're sober when you're off of it yeah and you, you can relate that and have a positive influence on your life mm-hmm. to where you see things different and you react to things different yeah that's it i want that yeah i'm at the stage of my life now where my depression and anxiety is going crazy mm-hmm. and I, I am trying to find steps to it and like you said i want to do it naturally yeah 
but it's hard to use maps and stuff because it's, it's all illegal, illegal yeah. <laughs> and one of the yeah one of the issues before we go further um, that I had was the the whole resetting process. Yeah. Um, and I like I don't know enough about it. Um, and that was one of my questions for you was like, in what way does it reset it? Like because for me, um, battling with like any kind of depression. I think a lot of it is from my past and like the, the scenarios and situations that I've been through um, and gone through. And I think that has shaped how I deal with things. And I think that is what has caused the depression for me. And so in my mind, the only way that I can see um, a psychedelic kind of working on that would be to in some way erase part of that, that circumstance or that situation yeah. that you built that um, issue or depression around. Um, and that, that was one of the questions that I had. And one of yeah. the reasons I kind of was hesitant. So that, you know, I, like that's, I think that's the difference between my depression and your depression, where your depression, it, it, it comes from experiences mm-hmm. and things in your life that you, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but you don't know how to process. I'm there too. Yeah. There's a lot of things in my life mm-hmm. that, I, that have happened to me and I have no idea how to process them. And it triggers my depression too. Yeah. But so I think, yeah. So what I was saying was I think your depression stems from um, experiences in your life mm-hmm. where you you don't know how to process or you're in the the process of processing. Yeah. Whereas mine is, I think mine is pretty much both of mm-hmm. things that happen to me and then a chemical imbalance in the brain. Yeah. Because all of my, all of my thoughts, mm-hmm. I, my brain like just turns negative. Like I have happy thoughts. Yeah. But a majority of, of, of things are like something, I'll think of something happy and then I will just play out scenarios in my mm-hmm. head where it just turns thinking negative. So I think that's, yeah, that, that's the difference between our depression and yeah. we do both. And I think it's a case by case or person by person yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, do you want me to tell you what this was? Oh yeah. All right. So I don't, I don't screenshot any of the ingredients in it, but it's a bunch of different, like different plants, roots, and stuff. Probably better we don't share ingredients anyway. Yeah, because the the actual ayahuasca and its root uh-huh. is illegal. Yeah. But you can buy all the individual yeah. things. It's like meth, where you yeah, know, all the stuff is, you find it at a hardware store, but once it's together, that's that's when it becomes illegal. Okay, this is why I'm turned on to ayahuasca. Uh-huh. This paragraph I'm about to read. People who, who have consumed ayahuasca report having mystical or religious experiences and spiritual revelations regarding their purpose on Earth, the true nature of the universe, and deep insight into how to be the best person they possibly can. Okay. That's what turns me on to ayahuasca. Huh. So it's it's it. almost like a, a spiritual religious like yeah. they said both of those in there. So like I can like me personally I can relate to the desire to like have that connection. Yeah. I get that. Like that's that's something that would like not saying I'm gonna do it, but that's something that would push me towards Maybe. it. I'm I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you now, I I'm not not gonna do it. But yeah. like that that's something that helps me relate, I guess, yeah. to why you want to do it. Sure. Like for me, yeah. I, like I, I seek that connection through like church or other people or like reading the Bible, and like that works for me. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say it works for everybody. Like I, I can't yeah, yeah. I can't say that. Like some people just don't don't feel that connection while doing the same things that I do. Right. And so like well, that's your path absolutely. that you would have to go through to but, like. Maybe not have to, not but have it's to. something I definitely yeah. want to try. Definitely something I yeah. want to experience. And uh, the way that you do that through your religion mm-hmm. is kind of why I started picking, uh, like I've picked up meditating. Yeah. That's how I can, like, I just smoke a little bit and meditate. And I do it for 20 to 30 minutes a night. Mm-hmm. And it, that's how I ground myself and how I let things go. Yeah. So I've been doing like guided meditation and stuff. Mm-hmm. Just so somebody walking you through like steps on how to release yeah. visualization mm-hmm. and all that stuff. So that like, whoop, 
that plays in with ayahuasca. Yeah. Where it's like a visual thing. Mm-hmm. So the very end of that of that sentence or that paragraph is uh, is that like individuals uh, report that they feel at, like they gain access to a higher spiritual dimension uh-huh. and make contact with various spiritual or extra dimensional beings mm-hmm. who can act as guiders and healers. Okay. So. So you think that's kind of where like the healing part comes from? I think that's that kind of relates to like the meditation, but it's, mm-hmm. it's like a, you visualize it. Yeah. So ayahuasca kind of taps into um, the visual cortex of your brain, mm-hmm. whereas you're you're seeing things and like, but it's you. It's your yeah. thoughts and everything. So it, it's it knows what you want to let go of, but mm-hmm. you're seeing those those healers. Yeah. Or those spiritual things and they're. They're talking you through how to let go what you want to let go. Yeah. Now, this is just a personal question. This has nothing, side tangent. This has probably not much to do with this, but it is something that, like, hits my brain. What kind of, like, learner are you? Me? Yeah. I'm a, like, I have to do it. Okay, so you're a kinetic learner. Yeah, I don't read by, I don't learn by reading. Okay. I do, it's just slower. Yeah. If I'm going to pick up on something, I have to do it. Okay. Why? That makes sense. Well, because when you said, like, visualizing it, and, like, for you, I think part of that is also, like, processing through it, like, physically feeling like you're going through it. Yeah. Even in a mental form, like, you you would feel your presence in throughout that vision. Yeah, absolutely. I think that that is part of, like, what it, in my mind, that's what I think attracts you to this version. Yeah. Whereas, like, for me, I do decently well with, like, reading is kind of my learning modality um and so like for me to sit down and block everything else out or Mm -hmm. like i think listening is good for me but i'm really bad at memory so my apologies it's terrible but like for me like to be able to like read and either hear my voice or read the actual words i think that's what hits me hard and And, like that's why yeah. sitting down and reading the scripture and stuff mm-hmm. is like how you ground yourself. Yeah. Which is, I mean, that's, I, that's it was just a, a yeah. pure curiosity oh, of yeah. like, maybe that's, that's part of why you absolutely. are drawn to that version. It entices me that I can reset my brain. Yeah. Go and drink this drink and have it affect me in a way that I it allows me to become, like you said, the best person I can be. Mm-hmm. But it also entices me that I go on a trip and see yeah. visions. And so like uh, there's one story I, re- I remember someone took mushrooms and they mm-hmm. were on a, this psychedelic trip and they saw a jester and the jester throughout the whole trip was making fun of them. Uh-huh. And, and like he, the person who had the, the vision or whatever, as he was going through it, and as he was going through his trip, yeah, he was re- like recalling and being like you know, why is this guy making fun of me? Yeah. Being like in his feelings about it and got out of it. And he, he now looks at that whole trip as a humbling thing. And yeah. That's why he's so humble today. Mm. Because when he starts okay. to get like cocky or he starts to. He like, remembers the jester a little ego, bit. He remembers the jester. Huh. So for me to okay. have that like look yeah. back on and, and like have that experience. I mean, fair enough. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not going to say it's wrong. Like, I think it would do you well. Yeah. And like, I, and that's what I think would be good yeah. for you. I'm so, for yeah. I mean, I know you're I all for it. it. Yeah, that's the struggle part. So. Is that what gets you? I mean, I like, uh, uh, of course we just talked about it, but is that your, like, your big thing? I don't know or if it's... Just, or it's because you just don't want to... That's not... You don't see that as, like, a... It's I, like, I oh, think, up in yeah. there. I think that it's a little bit of both. A, yeah, that's a one big difference between. Yeah, I think that's kind of, for me, those two things are kind of the 50-50 split. Yeah. Like, as a religious person in, in bl- biblical terms, not sure. biblical, biblical, uh, biblical terms, <laughs> um, you're supposed to obey all laws, but you are allowed to kind of question them a little bit um, as kind of Jesus reset the laws, and even he had some, some like, I don't want to say sketchy, but like, dangerous moments where he was kind of pushing the boundaries with a lot of places um so i mean the 
illegal part of it, it bothers me somewhat. Mm -hmm. But it's I don't I don't think that's like the whole story for me. I think yeah. my struggle is I don't. I can see like your mindset is I can see you like you're skeptic, skeptical yeah. about believing how it goes. Yeah, like I just like, I don't know if that would be a fix. Like sure. I, I I can see going through the journey. Yeah, and I can see like how that would help in some ways, but to me it sounds to my skeptical mind it sounds too much like a a quick miracle fix kind of thing and like i it it may just be my thinking in that process but that's my struggle with it is yeah. like well i think like um as it were you're when you hear stuff like that your brain works in a way mm -hmm. it's like okay well i need i'm gonna need proof yeah like they're that they're doing that study in seattle like maybe when that proof comes out yeah and that, i'd be those reports yeah. come out you'd be more into it because there's actually like yeah on paper files and reports mm -hmm. and actual study done yeah. on it because i asked you earlier today i was like do you take a prescription yeah i do and i said what if they took that prescription maybe one pill yeah one bigger pill yeah you had massive to take it, dose of you it you had to take it one time and that was it yeah or maybe you had to take it a few times throughout life but like yeah. years apart yeah and i, I said if you say we did because you 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 told me yeah that you even looked into the prescription that you yeah. were prescribed before mm -hmm. you took it yeah I wanted to make sure it was like yeah. it was what they said it was right. and I wanted to make sure it was what I thought I needed mm -hmm. not just some person from a doctor's office who, who to be honest I only saw her one time yeah. so yeah it's like a cookie cutter like yeah you know, and like the part that bothered me the most about that like doctor's visit what she was like this is my go to. And I was like, and that's why I've got to look into this. Yeah. And they, there's depression and anxiety that cannot be cured yeah. by, by medicine. Medication. Yeah. Yeah. So they have alternative mm -hmm. means for it. And one of them is like, uh, like a kind of, I think it was like shock therapy. It was, it I wasn't heard like, that, but... it wasn't like put the helmet yeah. on your head. And, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. It, but it was like, yeah, do a couple of small, treatments. yeah, small yeah. electrical and pulses I, back I, and forth. I looked into that. Yeah. Because you can do it in Chicago. Uh huh. Maybe I'll just do that. <laughs> just but, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. But you get microwaved, bro. Yeah. What it <laughs> did was it, it pinpoint and tapped into the parts of your brain that were triggering your depression. Mm -hmm. It just, what, or I guess, sent signals and said, hey, let's yeah. break that up. And it was supposed to be a one time thing, like one set of treatments. And yeah. It was like six six treatments. Yeah. Or six, year, or six visits or whatever. And it's supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. And that had shown significant. Results, Resistance. like good results. Yeah, yeah positive yeah. results. So I looked into that. Oh. Yeah. I don't, maybe I should not even take a prescription. I don't no, like that's drugs. fine. Like, I get that. Uh, Brooke is the same way. Yeah. Um, my soon-to-be wife, she's the exact same way. Like, she does not like to take prescription drugs, and I understand that. Yeah. Like, I get that. That's not for everyone. Um, I take it only because I think that, like, it actively helps me. And if honestly, if I'd gotten through like a week or two and been on the same same issue, like the same problems, mm -hmm. I would have stopped right then. And that yeah. that was like what kind of sold me. Right. Yeah. So, but you tested it. Yourself. Yeah. So what? Going back to like the big pill, it was you still were like it was your medication. Mm -hmm. Is that everything is the exact same, just in a bigger dose? Yeah. And you had to take it once. And you were still like, mm, I'd have yeah, to look into it. Yeah, I was a little hesitant. But you have already looked into it, mm. you just take it on every single day. Yeah. Instead of once a day. My, the issue I had with that one, which, like, I think it's a good analogy for what we're going through, but, like, my issue for it was would the large dose, kind of overdose of that specific medication, would it permanently, like, balance the levels? Or would it just be, you know, one big dose and, like, that that chemical would slowly wear down kind of thing. And that, that was my question. Like, that's what I really want to look into would, if I if this was an actual thing. I personally wouldn't say overdose. Well, no. Like, it's not an overdose. Yeah. It's a, a large dose. dose, yeah. Of what you're going through. Like, yeah. Your treatment. So mm -hmm. it would be, it wouldn't, it would be like a one pill, not necessarily a fix all, fix all, cure all, mm -hmm. but it would be a one dose or one pill you're taking that you take once in a lifetime or once every 
many many years. Yeah. It's all hypothetical, but yeah, like I I think I would be okay with more okay with that one. Yeah. Because I know what's in it, and I know what it does, and like I know how it affects me already. Mm-hmm. But like maybe you if look, 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 you're, okay, yeah, right? you looked into it, uh-huh. but you still took it, and your defining factor was that when you took it, it worked. Yeah. Uh, you don't know until you do it it's true it's true um and there's no negative side effects you just might throw up a lot (laughs) or have diarrhea while you're yeah no negative side effects but that to like shamans and stuff that Mm -hmm. is a sign of purging the bad yeah like no i get it and to be honest like if i wasn't on a current like medication i think i'd be more open to it Uh, (laughs) that's the problem is uh, the one i'm on you can't just drop like yeah, well, you gotta like slow, yeah. You, can't. you gotta like slow wean yourself yeah, you off. Get the, what's it called? It's a you get the like the, the gift. Not the gift. You get it like it's called. There's something when you have depression, you take the PC, you get off of it. You get like a. Uh, I mean, whatever. You get yeah. like a something. It, it causes something in your body. Oh yeah. yeah okay. Like a bad side effect. Mm-hmm. Shakes? It, it, there's actually like a term. Oh, it, okay. It, it's a condition that you can develop. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. I didn't see that much. I mean, if you if you don't uh, dose off of it, for mm-hmm. it yeah. yeah. But I think the gifts I made up. Or I didn't. No, make that's it up. from that's how I made mine. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I but think then, like, I told you I wanted to microdose mushrooms. Yeah. That's you mentioned that a couple weeks ago. Even more illegal. Mm-hmm. But, like, I, I've never done mushrooms. I, I would definitely try it. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, it's like you take, like, one-tenth of yeah. the, like, a, a dose of mushrooms. Yeah. And you, you can do it, you can do it daily or you can do it, like, every few days. Mm-hmm. And it, that's shown, it's not, that's 100% real. You can make a difference. You yeah. You can't do it. Mm-hmm. They've done studies with it. People do do it. Mm-hmm. As a, yeah. Um, or if you know where to get mushrooms, you can do it yourself. Yeah. But it's also like a very positive thing mm-hmm. for people because you don't take enough to trip out. You just take enough to where your brain just re- oh, resets. Yeah. You know, every day you go in with like a mm-hmm. positive mindset. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it, I, like, I, it might be a, a different than taking a prescription every day. Where yeah. The prescription just bounces out the chemicals in your body and your yeah. brain as to where like microdosing mushrooms will do that too mm-hmm. but also a little bit more a little fun yeah a little, it, like, little bit more <laughs> so, like, I, I, some people who have microdose it was like they were enough to where they were like oh, like this room looks pretty cool yeah and, like, and then it's like well why did I think that and like, oh yeah <laughs> it's cause I, I took, took some it, drugs I earlier I think it was a mushroom yeah like, it's like they just have a different outlook. Okay. It's not enough to what impair yeah. your day to day life. Mm-hmm. It just makes you a little more upbeat. Yeah. I'm into it. Yeah. I mean, I think this is one of those things that it's it's very like you, and I think it would do you well, maybe, yeah. or at least do you good to try, for your own for your own sake. Yeah, for my own. Life. Yes. Yeah. Like I'm not. I'm definitely not saying like you should buy you know three pounds of these mushrooms and like chop them up and get ready I gotta, I have to assume it's probably pretty expensive. Yeah, oh yeah i'm saying like if, if you want to try it i'm not like i'm not going to judge you at all that's all that's oh, all yeah. you like i think if it goes well for you it goes well for you i don't think anybody should i'm not a druggie no like i don't seek out high yeah this stuff intrigues me because of the the way it affects my mind in a positive way. Yeah. Not because I'm, mm-hmm. I'm tripping. And I'm no, like, yeah. I'm seeing colors and mm-hmm. sounds. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. I think if it if it helps you, I like, I'm pro you you being like, yeah, happier, helped, right. whatever whatever makes you like, feel better. Mm-hmm. If that's what you need to do, like I'm I'm here. I may not like condoning. I may not be like, "Hey, high five, let's do some drugs," 
but I, I'm not going to be you. like, dude, you got to you got to cut back on what you're doing. I disagree sure. and you're a terrible person. Like well, it it, it yeah. is it's your choice. Like I think that that's good for you if that's what you need. The same way with me. Like mm-hmm. I don't I don't smoke every day. And when I do, I don't I don't smoke a lot to yeah. where I'm like I can't function. Mm-hmm. I, have a, I can still do everything that I need to do, but I'm responsible. Yeah. I don't like I don't leave the house. And do yeah. it. like you can control the circumstances. Yeah. I wouldn't risk mm-hmm. anything like smoking and then going out and driving a car. Yeah. I wouldn't risk that. Mm-hmm. And that that's not I mean, for my personal safety. Sure, but that's mostly because I would never put anybody else's yeah. safety at risk. Mm-hmm. And I will never smoke when I have my kids around. Yeah. It's it's when I'm alone and I'm I can get lost in my thoughts or I need to just decompress. Yeah. And relax. Which is very responsible. Like that, I like. I think it's a good, a good outlook for how how you're doing it. Like so, yeah. I yeah. And then the same thing with like, uh, if I was able to do my dirty like, yeah. If it was affecting me in a way where I couldn't go to work or I what didn't feel safe behind a car or even if they were like, hey, you can microdose but you can't drive, I'd be like, that's not for me. Yeah, I can't not. Do those things, yeah, can't obviously. not function. Yeah, I'm in, through I'm a normal day. Yeah, I'm a parent. I have mm-hmm. responsibilities. Yeah, I, I will never let any substance get in the way of that. Yeah, but I'm for like okay, so uh, I've been saving this one. Here's a little treat for you. Uh huh. There's an ayahuasca retreat in Orlando, Florida. Oh, yeah. there you go. I mean, it's in Florida, so like, Florida's already nice. You can tag in ayahuasca. I'm not sure what that even. Would, would be, uh, but what? How do you retreat in that? It's like, like a spa. Like, it's like, like, like you, you sit in there, get, like getting massaged, and they're no, like, no, 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 no. like, "Hey, you, breathe these you, fumes." It, it's, okay, so it would be like, no. like it would be like, <laughs> I, like if you were to go to a traditional spa, and yeah, get a massage and a face mask, and you relax with like cucumbers on your eyes, and uh-huh. like drink you would get the whole thing too. Oh, yeah, He'd be like, like, "Oh, I look so pretty." For sure. Yeah, but in this retreat. You are surrounded by like staff members and shamans and guiders and yeah. healers, and you take the tea and they like guide you through this process. Yeah, you're in a controlled environment. Yeah, they're kind of the safety net there to make sure for you don't. Yeah, to guide you through your yeah through your your journey. Your yeah, your journey through the whole thing. And it like I didn't look into pricing mm-hmm. because I can't afford it yet. Yeah, but I'm, I want to fucking do it. I want to mm-hmm. do it. It's in Florida. Yeah, so let's go. Why? Did, why is it a let's? Why? Why do I have to be there? I'm not. I would. You know, I would like go you with you. I, have, I will never force anybody to do yeah. anything with me. Just come with me. I'll go with you, you to it. make sure that you don't like we can die vlog. or something. We can vlog it. <laughs> we'll see. I I would go with you yeah. just to make sure that like you were safe sure. and things were going well and yeah. like. To help you drive back and forth and that kind of thing, or fly well, back and forth, like whatever. A hotel. Like, you yeah. Stay only for two nights. Or something. Okay. Yeah. So, so, and I, I don't mind massages at all. They can, they can oh, know, pop out the knots and whatnot. Know, they do that. Oh, but, what? But, <laughs> they even like my plan. <laughs> like, watch me go through this. Yeah. Thing. But that, I think that would be cool too for me to actually do it and experience it. And and that's like I'm getting my healing the way I get my healing, and then mm-hmm. you firsthand. Yeah. Get like a, 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 a view of what you're doing. Yeah, you can see if it worked. If it didn't work, if you, you get, just you're, sat you're, there and like, like pooped on yourself and then crawled in a corner. Okay, that's that what scares me. Because like obviously, like in this room, something like this happened. It's got to be a pretty major trip. Yeah, vomiting and diarrhea are like the, the two things that are like the only negative side effects. Am I still in control of myself? Or am I, I just think like, you would be. <laughs> sitting down, I'm like, whoops, sorry, guys. I, see, I don't even I don't think you would get myself. that far. I think, I think it would be more of a... <laughs> and then everything's just flowing out of you at the same time. Uh, I don't want to... <laughs> until want, there's nothing left. That doesn't intrigue me. I don't want to... I don't, want <laughs> doesn't intrig- well, I don't think you get to pick and choose. I think, I think you uh, pick well, how, one, you get both. Well, is it like... Is it like if you do mushrooms? Because you can go on like a major freaking trip, but you can still walk around and play with that and do things. Yeah. You're just seeing things. You I have no idea. Like literally, like, 
Yeah. 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 Could be. But is it like, or at least is it like, like an MDMA, like a Molly trip, where you just like, just get silly, just get like super loose. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It might like. I, I'll I mean, be honest. I, know you don't I haven't know. looked these, into these are like open yeah. questions. You know? No, I just like have I not looked, looked into, into yeah. any of those drugs at right. all. Like I don't, I've never even like. Yeah. I've heard of like LSD, and that's as far as my knowledge goes. It's another like super. Like yeah. Which I, I I have no interest in. LSD. Yeah. I have no interest in doing Molly. Yeah. I have no interest in doing cocaine. I have no interest. I'm not a. Yeah. Drug no, drug. I get that. Like, I just like these like shrooms. I have nothing to compare to. That's sure. what I'm trying to tell well, you. Like I mean, I have, like my questions aren't directed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like at you. Yeah. It's open questions. Like, yeah. Is it does it put me in like a like a paralysis state where I'm just like sitting where I can't move? I'm sitting down or like I lay down. Yeah. Or am I able to like get up, walk around, do things? But like I'm gonna be honest. I'm like walking around. I'm gonna get a, like. Food or I'm gonna get a drink, but there's like a healer or a spiritual guy here that's not actually here, and I'm just seeing. I mean, you should probably hope for the first one, uh, only because I think that if you go for the second option of like actually being like in your mind uh -huh. as you're doing things, uh -huh. I think you're gonna really not enjoy that. Um, you well, have enough problems on the bathroom, toilet, and all that I as it is. Can't. Yeah. I am Hey, everything's not supposed to be part of this episode but no. hey guys i do have bowels yeah but like i'm saying you would spend the whole day like the back and forth on the toilet like regardless no matter what or who it was you drink that like your natural response is like i'm gonna hold a bucket and a toilet and like oh, oh is that the trip though is that I don't like know. you you're you're on a, like a, a, a thing that is like some form of like an outhouse or a porta potty it could be i don't know sitting down something just over your lap yeah. and you have a bucket and they're like stay you're here you're not gonna be able to get up but <laughs> chill you know just let it all out it could be do your thing maybe they have really nice like bathrooms like I maybe you got like a mountain view that would be cool well, or not I a mountain view a beach view I, I guess it's in Florida I can remember so I mean, you can put me in the slums of I'm saying St. like Louis if you give me yeah. ayahuasca if I have to sit <laughs> in one spot I'm saying if you get like the second version where you're actually like in your mind and you can yeah. actively move and stuff, then they just set you up with like a nice view. Maybe your porta potty, toilet seat, whatever is open, and you get like a nice view of the beach. Sure. As that things are cool. going down, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm that saying. Would be like, really relaxing. Yeah, that's. Because like, really then everything it. just flows well. I'm just saying. Just, yeah. Just of the, the two way. options, I still think you should probably aim for the first though, just because. Yeah. It doesn't sound like it would be pleasant to like spend half your day on the toilet. Well, that's just my person. Forth. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, like, that's not exactly what I meant. I just meant like, will I be able to function? Or, or like, yeah. In some way. In, in some yeah. form, or, or am I literally just stuck in one spot for six hours, where it's like not having the capability, mm -hmm. or do I have the capability? And Probably shouldn't for me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? All good things on a video camera. It's like I will book the trip when I can afford it. You come down, vlog it. It's gonna be a really boring vlog though if you end up in like a toilet the whole time. Not really. I'm just gonna be standing outside the door of the bathroom, and be like, he's still in there. If it's open, we're if on it's a just countdown. An open thing where yeah. like it's maybe I have my own room. So I have like a room where there's like healers and shamans yeah. and stuff. People are in there. Like you can be in the room. Like it's a, yeah. a room, room. But I'm like just like in one corner. <laughs> I don't know how it is. No, like, I like I think that's stuff you should look into. Well, like, we could but also, I think it would be like good for you. Like we I think we also document the whole process. Like mm -hmm. we get there and check in and have like everything explained. Yeah. And we can put that in the vlog. Yeah. And then we go through like you know six hour vlog yeah. and go through the whole process. It'll be like time lapsed in sure. in a lot of places. Yeah. A whole so. a lot of things cut out, especially mm -hmm. if I'm just sitting there. But then like the aftermath. Like it'd be yeah. a good vlog. No. I I could do what I want to do and we can vlog yeah. it and we could it could be a learning thing. I'm totally there to support you. Others. Yeah. I'm game. I'll, I'll support you. Video. Yeah. I won't I probably won't do it myself, but I'll support you. Oh, well I'm not I'm not gonna I would I, I, I would love if you would join me. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna force it on you. Yeah. And we're never forced on anyone on anybody. Yeah. And 
do have a buddy in Florida. Mm, there you go. Mine is orange. He's like, like more mellow. Like he's upright. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. I'm into it. Yeah. I want to try it. That's fair. I get it. Yeah. So. So, I guess, I mean, we get a pickup. That's like kind of what we talked about. Yeah. And where you want to go. We had a talk meeting. Um, what are your, what do you do? Other than like the medication, what helps you get through like these kids um, or anxiety and like things that bring you down? What pulls you out of like that state? I think, oh, it's hard to say. Um, and a lot of things like, I think for me just recently, like and I, I'm usually very bad about this, um, which is poor of me as like a religious person and I should be better about it, but it, it is what it is. Like I, I just, some people don't connect the, the same way and that kind of thing. But like, it sounds nerdy and weird, but like for me, I read the Bible in the morning mm-hmm. before I go into work. That way I have at least something with me as I'm going throughout the day. Yeah. And I think that that helps a little bit. Um, but I also think that like, in a sense, um, I think Christians do meditate. They just don't call it meditating. Like in many churches I've been to and many like classes I've been to in college, everyone's like, oh, take a minute to listen to God. That's that's simply like meditating so and keeping an open mind. You're turning and, off um, outside influence. Yeah. You're, just you're to just hear. In, in yeah. With yourself and, mm-hmm. and your brain and your, but what you do as a Christian is mm-hmm. you listen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. I for me and my experience, like I have meditated in the past, and that was what worked best for me was like to simply just clear my mind completely yeah. and try and let it go blank, and like I think as Christians we do the same thing. We we listen mm-hmm. for God, but I think we we are essentially meditating and trying to clear our mind and let the world's problems fall back on the world, sure. and bring ourselves kind of out of that a little bit. Um, and I think prayer is very similar in that. Yeah. Um, and I think prayer is definitely an easy de-stressor just because I get to complain to God. Like, I don't have to worry about him being mad at me yeah. uh, for, like, complaining. And that's one of my big, like, stresses in talking to other people. Like, I, if you, I've always had the, the motto of, you don't ask me, I won't tell. Like, and that's just something I grew up okay. with. Yeah, um, so, like, if I, if I would, like, bring it back to the ayahuasca yeah if i wasn't if i just said hey john i want to try ayahuasca mm-hmm. and you would be like all right yeah it would be, if we didn't if i didn't like involve you in the conversation you wouldn't have gave me your input yeah is what you're saying yeah okay. absolutely yeah. like for me uh i want someone else if they want my input i want them to ask for it because i don't want to bother them sure. or bore them or take up their time kind of thing yeah um so I yeah relate to that i think i'm, I'm very much the same way yeah. uh maybe not anymore but like I, my, that might, whereas that comes from, I guess when you don't want to like step on anybody's toes mm-hmm. or whatever. I think mine came out of like just pure shyness. Mm-hmm. Like I was too shy and insecure to be like, man, it's probably not the best look for you. But <laughs> but now like when if someone's like, I don't know, bring something up mm-hmm. and I don't agree with it, I'd be like, mm, yeah, not. Mm-hmm. Like, you shouldn't go do that. Mm-hmm. All right, brother. <laughs> but uh, yeah, look, yeah anyway i'm sorry I didn't mean to no you're you good off, but yeah yeah so like uh for me like being able to pray mm-hmm. is a very easy like stress-free form of that because i don't have to worry about the other person because i know sure. that like well that's just it's yeah kind of the same thing as meditating you said, yeah but instead of you in your head mm-hmm. it's you speaking to god yeah so you it's just it's a one-on-one mm-hmm that's, I don't, I don't want this to come off as like crude, but it's a one-on-one where the conversations take place in your head. Yeah. Where, as a, a, a Christian or a religious person, your that in your head conversation, mm-hmm. you guys believe are is going somewhere. Yeah. And you, what you guys do as as religious people is you try to hear back. Yeah. What, Absolutely. What, what or at least God that's the saying. hope. Yeah. 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 So uh-huh. it like relates to meditation, mm-hmm. but instead of talking to someone and listening, 
mm-hmm. you're listening to yourself. Yeah. I mean, you're you, from what I've gathered, not I'm brand new to meditation, but from what I've gathered through my process with meditation, is you let your mind think about what it wants to think about, uh-huh. but you learn how to let those things go yeah. as you think about them. Yeah. So, yeah. It's very similar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. The only other, like, I think big de-stressor I have is Brooke. Um, She's very good at like, just the other day, like after I went and did all the suit stuff and like I had spent the whole day like, like, yeah, Yeah. it was just a rough day. Um, And I just like, I literally came in. She's like, how you doing? I was like, I'm doing all right. I laid on the ground and she literally just sat there and like, she knows that I love when people like Like, go through my hair. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. So she like, she spent almost an hour and a half, literally just like, I laid there breathing and that's all I could do. And like, we talked a little bit, but like, yeah, Yeah. like she was, she was very good at like listening and just being okay with it being quiet. Yeah. So. That's that's right. (laughs) Thanks. So, yeah. So do you have like, do you have other forms of like de-stressing? How I let go? I yeah. I didn't. Like No? So this is kind of like a very, first. Yeah. The gym is very important for me mm-hmm. personally. Like I go I go to the gym because I let go. I'm, I want to be very healthy. I want to take care of mm-hmm. myself. I do compete and I have, I, well, I have competed and I have the desire to compete again. Yeah. So I constantly want to change the shape of my body. Yeah. But like as an overall health and a fitness thing, that's goal number one for me. Yeah. But I, I like as as like men, we're wired to we have a lot of stored up energy. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know if every guy can relate to this in this way, but for me, if I have all that stored up energy and I don't have a way to release it, it mm-hmm. comes out in anger. Mm-hmm. So if I if I miss a couple of days at the gym, yeah. I I don't like who I am. Yeah, I can and, attest to that. There was yeah. there was a rough couple months in uh, COVID, where the uh, the gym wasn't open for a little bit, and I'll be honest, it was a rough uh, rough couple months. Oh, like oh, you yeah, were in a bad I, mood. I, like you were, uh, like, and not even like all the time angry, just like depressed, like yeah. sad. Like I could physically like see it yeah. in your body of like. Yeah, oh, I went uh, a very rough time. Yeah, because I was. I was not able to. I was I was trying to work out at home, but it's not the same. Yeah, you can kick your ass with a, a body weight workout, but it's it wasn't the same for me. To mm-hmm. not go in and, and pick up weight. Yeah, and do that stuff. And have like, it just wasn't the same. So I wasn't releasing all the energy that I needed to mm-hmm. to function properly. Yeah. I, I, not going to the gym helped in, in many different ways, but that yeah. was like the major backlash was just how it had a very negative effect on my attitude, my yeah. outlook on life. And I one hundred percent will attribute that to the the like do you want to call it the spike in my depression that led to mm-hmm. the ending of a relationship I was in. Yeah. One hundred percent. If if I if the gym stayed open and I was able to continue to do that stuff to have that release, I don't know that that relationship would have ever ended. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, like, what, I, since the ending of that relationship, the six months of mm-hmm. lockdown and quarantine and self social distancing yeah. or whatever, I've, it's been a horrible, like, it sucked. Yeah. But it's been a beautiful thing for me because I, I learned so much about myself in the past five months. Yeah. And how to cope with it. You know, my gym's been open now for, like, Three months. Amen. Yeah, thank goodness. But yeah. I've learned a lot of. I until med, I don't I'm, a, I'm a, only a week into meditation. Yeah. Until that, I was still like I learned how to, I learned my, you know what I normally say I learned my triggers, but I learned how to recognize mm-hmm. my thoughts and that they were negative mm-hmm. and where they were coming from. But I still am not one hundred percent sure on how to cope or how yeah. to how to handle those thoughts. Yeah. But that's good. Like, like that's like, the like that's the first yeah. Right? Steps. So. And I'm getting better. Mm-hmm. And 
I've, I've been meditating for a week. I'm doing a 30 day challenge. My God was telling me, he's like a 10 minute, 30 day challenge. And then on top of that, I'll do a 10, 15 minute guided challenge. Yeah. I'm four days in, five days in. And it's this week has been one of my best weeks yeah. in months. Mm-hmm. Months. Yeah. I don't know if it's directly related to meditation, but that's really one of the only things that's changed. Yeah. I like it. It's there. But other than that, no. I, I, no. Uh, there was like no, I didn't know how. Mm. I didn't know how to treat it. I, I, well, it's kind of why I struggle with my religion. Yeah. Because I come from that. I was mm-hmm. raised in that. And then I got out of it. Because um, I was a kid, like my family got out of it. And ever since I started to get back into it, it's been in and out, in and out. Mm-hmm. You know, you know. but I would still like and I think this caused even more anxiety for me because when I was down mm-hmm. I still have the initial like trigger of fear returning to God yeah but then I would see that and I'd be like well I have so many questions about my religion yeah. but then I'm turning to this person who has questions and it just it kind of like yeah it like, could be a vicious cycle that stressed me out yeah I get that. So. Yeah. Honestly, I, my depression, I didn't even know I had depression. Until I, was, I didn't know I was depressed or anxious until like two years ago. Mm-hmm. It was when I, I didn't talk. Like mm-hmm. I didn't, and someone told me. Yeah. I didn't find out on my own. Mm-hmm. Someone told me. Yeah. Because they saw what I was going through when I was preparing to move back to Oklahoma. Yeah. I get that. I'm going to do a 30 day thing and hopefully it becomes, if it works, it can become a staple in my life. And yeah. yeah. Continue helping. For sure. So. Well, let us know what you guys think, what you guys have. As uh, I promise, I'm not a drug. Yeah. I do think this is intriguing because of the positive things yeah. I do in my brain. Nah. Yeah, uh, I get like, it. Not because I'm, I'm searching a, a, a high a no. trip or I want a hallucinate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get that. But yeah, hit us up in uh, comments or. Um, we've got our Snapchats up and our Instagrams up, and we've got a Facebook page. Um, Instagram is uh, uh, two pod or two, two beards, beards one podcast. podcast. Um, Facebook is the same. Uh, it's a Facebook page for the time being. Facebook group. Uh huh. And we're Facebook we're getting podcast. there. Uh, and then Snapchat is the same as well. Um, if you want to be a part of the Facebook page, you'll probably have to uh, befriend me or Blake, and then just put in uh, a message or something. Yeah. Add me to the group. And we will happily add you to the group, and uh, you get some notifications. You might be able to. I'm not sure. I ha- yeah, I haven't seen it from the other side. I just know our admin there's side. There's an easier way to do it. Oh yeah. Also, let us know because we have no free group. I've yeah. never made a group on mm-hmm. Facebook. I no. barely do anything on my own but, Facebook. Yeah. So hit us up in the yeah. comments. Um, let us know what your guys' ideas are, yeah. um, or things that you've gone through, um, or yeah, maybe man, you're looking for like some stress relieving options help us too yeah like uh, it's all good there's something out there that works for you mm-hmm. let us know well, yeah i'm open well, obviously yeah. i'm open to trying a lot we'll give of it a things, give it a try yeah see what we can it do it might help us out so for sure a personal uh, instagram mm-hmm. where can you find me john for my personal instagram my personal. uh at john w billner mm-hmm. mine, it's real simple yes sir mine is not <laughs> mine's at underscore blake dot andrew underscore yeah you had to make you made it complicated. It well, I had to make it match something else, and that was the only like configuration I could find. Fair enough, fair enough. But sure. we'll go to the uh, section of the show yes. where we bring out our random items. The items. I went first last week, right? I think so. First All right, video. I gotta gotta unveil it here. It's in a blanket so that Blake couldn't see it. Still not looking. Still not looking. Oh, there's one, but I don't I don't want to give you that one because I don't think you saw that one yet. I mean, you've seen both of mine. I haven't seen any of yours. I don't know, but you just don't make any sense. Not to you. Well. Oh. All right, boy. Is that a crap? What are you doing over there? A cutting board. Not a cutting board. With a musical instrument. No. Well, it's still there. Sorry, this fell off. This should be here. This is not even mine. 
Not a musical instrument. Not a musical instrument. Serving tray. Nope. Puzzle? Mm mm. Alright, hold on, hold on. Don't do you hit? It's a music folder. No. Triangle, right? Yeah. It's for something musical, is it? Not music. Puzzle? Mm. Can I ask a buddy for this? No. Nope. Those are the only things I get. Tell them my eh. If it's not it's a book. Thing. Oh, you book, your book right up here. On it. Uh-huh. It's for the bath. It is. It's for the bathtub. This is actually my lady's. So you can read it. Uh, yeah. She got a she got a fancy little thing here. Where this is a wine glass holder. Heck you slide yeah. your wine glass in there. I don't think she ever drank wine in What's the tubs. Uh, I think that's where you're supposed to put like your loofah or whatever, or your soap you or whatnot. Right on that. It's got holes in it. Yeah, but like I'm not putting my yeah. anything like that right so, now. So I'm not cool. sure what these are. I don't know what these are. They hold something. Yeah. But I brought it out because, uh, yeah, I'm getting cool. married in a week. So this is my lady's, and Man. she's starting to, we're Literally starting to move a, all a her stuff. A week yeah. from the next Friday. Mm-hmm. I mean, next it'll Friday. Be like, it'll be the previous Friday mm-hmm. when this comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the 4th. The 4th of September. Yes, but, yeah. So that is uh, that is my first item wow. for That's... the, because of the missus. You, this is our fourth episode. Uh-huh. And well, I third think... to fourth. We mm-hmm. recorded today. We yeah. might not put one out. But I'm already like, I gotta get back to this. <laughs> I need cool and fancy. Yeah. All right. What you got for me? You look this out. You mm-hmm. saw it. You know, like, the I saw the, the box. Yeah. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna get it out. But the, I think this explains you a lot better. Explains me? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. This is all you, man. Like, don't get me wrong. I get the fascination. I like just it's just not my favorite, but it is yours well, very much. Thing. This is my first thing right here, baby. This is a hobby bias action figure because I'm a Chicago Cub freak. You got a GI Joe. It's not a GI Joe. It <laughs> is a you got a Barbie doll on the Chicago on Cubs. the show. Uh, hobby bias is our shortstop. Something right up there. He's, his nickname's El Mago. He's literally the best baseball player behind my shelf. Um, nobody's going to agree with me on that, but I believe him. So. Can he sit? Does he sit? Mm-hmm. No? So you got to stand and you can configure it differently. We're going to set him if right. If you guys like baseball and you don't know who Javi is, uh, check out his, um, his tagging highlights. Mm-hmm. This dude is the most magical tagger in the world. He will no look catch the ball like that. He's a Ah, uh, he's a beautiful baseball player. He's young. <laughs> I've never he's, heard you talk about anyone like this. Oh my god. <laughs> he's, he's young. He's, he's beautiful. Well, I mean, he's, he's, just now, he's just starting his career. He's only a couple years in. So yeah. He's developing beautifully. He's gonna be if he continues this track. He's gonna be one of the best players ever played. One hundred percent. He's calling it now. Yeah. He's calling it now, ladies he's, and gentlemen. And, and, and dispute it. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Throw it up That's in the comments. I mean. He's all wrong right here. This guy. That's fine. I ain't all wrong. You don't have to agree with me. Yeah. What are you looking for there? I, he's got a stand. I was going to oh. call him a stand. We already got the problem. Not anymore. How Somebody bumped the table. You, right? <laughs> he he was doing good up right. there. And then somebody bumped the table. Well, that's my, that's my thing. That's your thing? That's first one. Fair. Fair. What do you think? Is this, uh, so is this, do you feel about this and how I feel about you and not uh, Probably, <laughs> yeah. Because for me, this, like, I understand it, I get it, but it's not like the, yeah. I have five of these. Mm-hmm. Excuse my voice. I have five. I have him, our third baseman. I have Chris Bryant, Rizzo. Um, I like how you said our for third baseman, like you're on the team. I am part of that <laughs> team. So, um, That's good. Yeah. Uh, I have Javi, Chris, Rizzo. Uh, I have Miguel Montero. Um, I need to check on the team. Yeah, but I I got all these. I had a sports crate box. This is, uh, I got it every week, month, mm-hmm. and it was just a box that mm-hmm. came with all kinds of Chicago Cubs stuff. And then during that season, they sent me action figures in every box. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, probably about the same. What do you think? I, I, I'm in love with them. I have nowhere to put them right now. Though, yeah, so they're just put up, put away. Same boo. I didn't mean to call you Boo. Bro. I was trying to go bro and dude at the same time, so it came out as brew. Yeah. Yeah, I do. 
What you want, honey? That's how Fran says it. All right, you ready? Oh, it fell out. I got weird. Ah. Oh, easy now, Tiger. All right, we get it. You don't want to see my second item. It's fine. You didn't have to, you know, make a big distraction about it. Just show me your item. All right, you ready? Can you guess what it is? It's magic card. No. Some sort of random table. I'm giving you the sound of it. I'll hit it against the table. How about that? It's a deck of cards. Nope. Just show me what right. you got. The Andes Mints. This is. If you don't know me at all, I am not a sweets person. I don't like sweets. I don't do candy all that often. Like, I'll, I'll do it every, like, probably once or twice a month at most. I am not a big sweets person, but this, Andy's Mints Andy's is bar. hands down the best fighting. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Andy's candy. Andy's Mint chocolate is the best sweet chocolate creation oh, ever. Oh, absolutely. In. I agree 100%. Yeah. It is fantastic. Like, we're going to set it up here in the bath thing, Bobber. It's not gonna stay. All right, that was a quick one. Yeah. You ready for my last well, one you there? agreed with it. It was oh, too wait. easy. It was too easy. You were like, "Yeah, I agree." Hundred. One. Hundred. Yeah. Hundred thousand. All right, you ready for the last yeah. one? Yeah. This, this is the weirdest idea. thing ever. If you guys know what this is, uh, comment like, yeah. now. Don't Shout wait. it out. Yeah. Say out like, "Yeah, you guys." We're know. gonna see how many people are right. For sure. Yeah. For sure. You got. You got to do it now, not when I tell you what it is. All right, hold on. Before you tell anybody. So, <laughs> there is a wing nut in the center, yeah. which allows for adjusting. Yep. Uh, I'm going to try to adjust it a little bit. So, it does It does open. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's literally like, it looks like a stainless steel cylinder. For you guys who can only hear us, um, yeah, it's straight up just a stainless steel cylinder with a hole on each end. Yep. Like somebody took a soup can and, and popped both ends off, but so kept the middle part. But bigger. Yeah, but like big. What do yeah. you think that might right here? Uh, I would say you got like a an eight inch diameter. Yeah, but like, what do you think you would measure from the back? Like, what you could measure from the back? I'm gonna smell it. Maybe I'll smell whatever you measured last. It's been in my storage for so long. You didn't do something weird with this did you no i didn't do anything okay. dirty with it that i'm just making sure sharp. i'm just making sure it's plus it's way too big for anything like that i feel like you would measure some type of powder with it powder yeah like you, you would like slinging cocaine over here no, no. <laughs> like how big is this what like what flour or something like a, a 20 cups of sugar no i'm saying like you set it on the table flour Pour it in, and you're like, all right, that's what I need. Pop it off. The only other thing I have is, like, maybe a cake bin. No. And nothing to do with cake. Really? Everything to do with something you put on your body. You put soap in that? No. Shampoo. What? Where? What did I come from? Media occupation. What? 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 An insurance guy. Your previous, previous? Yeah, my big one. Not the, the side thing. The military. Uh -huh. What are they very particular about in the military? Everything. Your hair. Right. You put your hair in there? You know, like, you can wear gel or any type of gel on that. You don't wear this. Gel? I mean, sure. I know, like, I, like, I called you sleep and stuff. Like, you need to know exactly what it is. I'm not going to get this. I have no idea. Uh, you shape and mold hats in your in your hat cover. So like obviously it's this is way too big. So the uniform is very like it's got to be spot on. Yeah. It's got to be like, very precise. Yeah. Like you have it dry cleaned and pressed. Uh huh. And somebody else just throws it in the washing machine. The collars all jacked up. They look like a slob. They're called a dirt bag. You look good. Yeah. Like, definitely goes a long way in the military. What you do is, I'm not taking my hat off, but you would put your hat 
on it, uh -huh. and it would shape your hat. So your hat would be very, like, curving. Yeah. Like a drill, but the rest of it very upright, very uh -huh. clean looking. And, and, like, a lot of dudes in the military would just take their cover off, roll it up into the bill, put it in your pocket. Mm. And that's wrong. It's not wrong. I did it. Yeah. I don't. I actually never used this. I got, <laughs> I got it from one of my roommates. He said, I have never used this. But what guys would do is they'd shape their cover off. So it would be a very pristine, very sharp looking hat. Fair. And then, like if you wore your your hat like a baseball hat, mm -hmm. you'd get yelled at. Huh. You, know, you deserve that. Fix your hat. This is not how you wear it. You don't wear your hat like right here. Mm -hmm. You wear your hat on the top of your head. Which is it's like essentially like half of this, but sitting on top of your head with a bill. That looks good, man. But yeah. But that's like, like that's just one of the things that made you stand out. Made yeah. you look like you you were putting in effort because I thought you wear your hat. I think you should. So if somebody used this, they wouldn't roll their hat up. They would just take it off. Set it like on that. Yeah. Or they would have one of these at work. They would. That's how they would put. That's where they put their hat, like at their desk. Mm -hmm. And then they just like wear it on whatever. And while it's at their at their computer or whatever. But I still think you should take this big bad boy. Put about a dozen eggs in there and make yourself a what perfectly round like just egg crack pancake. Crack a bunch of eggs in there and be like, whoop. Pick it up and then all the eggs go everywhere. No, you cook the eggs completely. Like you scramble them in there, cook them completely, and you got yourself like a, a big old egg patty. Like an egg pancake. That sounds horrible. You eat eggs all the time. But I have egg patties. Yeah. And egg cake. What's the difference? It's big. You know how burnt <laughs> the underside of that egg is before it really cooked up the top part of that uh, egg? What are you cooking so your either. eggs on? You cracking them bad boy up to like extra high? Brother, you tell me fill this thing up with eggs. No, not the whole thing. I'm saying like maybe like the bottom. Even if it's half, half inch, three, quarter inch up, the heat that's cooking the bottom of the egg, you got to get to the top of the egg. The bottom of that egg's gonna be so gummy. It's gonna be overcooked. Exactly how I like it. Yeah. What's the problem? Coming from the guy. Who like I, I like my eggs. This dude will cook. It sounds weird, but a little brown, like fried brown. This dude, he'll, he makes burgers on the grill, mm -hmm. and he'll make enough to be prepped for lunch week for work. Yep. He will take that cooked patty and put it in the microwave for five minutes. Yeah. He like I'm super, food. like, super nervous super well about, like, getting sick on food. Um, but I also, like, really want my food to be hot, hot, like when I eat it. Why? I don't know. Just, it's better, like, I like it better that way. You're one of those guys that takes a bite, and instead of, like, blowing on your bite, you're like, this is Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, I want whatever sauce I'm using to cool down my food to the right temperature. That doesn't mm. say I'm a blue blush kind of boy. Oh, all right, well, that's what we got for you guys tonight. Yeah, man. It's been, uh, it up. It's been good. Um, yeah. Hit us up in the comments. Hit us up on uh, social, social media. media. In any way you guys want to. Oh, and our uh, email. It's yeah. Two beers, one podcast. Uh, spelled out. Yep. T W O. One. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two beers, one podcast at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. So hit yeah. us up. Yeah. Let us know beers. you guys are uh, listening or out yeah. there. I think. Um, hopefully, by the time this one comes out, we're on um, Apple Podcasts. Mm -hmm. But as for right now, we're on Spotify, yeah, on YouTube, YouTube, at Two Beers One Podcast, and then you can find us on Spotify and Stitcher. Um, any like all the once we get on Apple, we'll be on a lot more. But yeah, we're on the big ones right now besides Apple. Hopefully, mm -hmm. by the time this release, we're on Apple. Yeah, so hit us up. Yeah, so go over there, send us some, uh, really, what was the name? Send some subscribes our way, rate us, review yeah. us. It'll, it'll help us out crazy. Make the podcast better. Yeah. Let us know what we can do to to do better. Yeah. Um, any subjects you guys want to hear? Sure. Hit us up. So. All right, like Franz always says, peace, peace love, love, no violence. Bye. Bye.